welcome to the Western Pacific Fishery Management Council's Fish Forever podcast series on sustainable fishing through effective stewardship in the U.S. Pacific Islands. In this episode, we'll hear from three different fishermen who use vastly different gear and methods to catch fish. Many recreational fishermen practice responsible fishing techniques which allow them to continue doing what they love to do. While their gear may be different, they all follow established rules and regulations, whether fishing in coral reef or in the open ocean. These fishermen observe catch limits and use permitted gear to protect the ecosystems they fish. Peter Plummer trolled for a skipjack tuna in Guam. Even after years of fishing from his boat, he still finds it as exciting as ever. Uh, I've been fishing in Guam now for 30 some years. And before that in the Virgin Islands, California, Samoa, and Alaska. So we're gonna be trolling mainly for skipjack tuna. The techniques we use, running four lines, all in an alternate pattern. We'll be trolling at a speed probably around seven knots. And the most exciting part for me, uh, and I wish I could make an alarm clock like this, is just hearing the drag go off. That clicker goes off and uh, I think when I stop getting exciting about that, then uh, I'll take an onshore job. People in Saipan have practiced net fishing for many generations, first using coconut palm fronds, and now using modern pull nets. Gus Oglin and his family is continuing this long time tradition. We call this a drag net. Once they see a, a school of fish, they start running out with the net and start locking it in. So both corners, they sit down flat with two additional helpers. They start dragging it in, stacking it, and, they, and as soon as they get more closer, close to the, that's the time they start scooping it up. They usually uh, use this kind of uh, traditional uh, type for any fiesta or a big, large family, uh, big party. Another type of recreational fishing, spear fishing, is actually a lot more like hunting. James Borja has become an expert at stalking game underwater. I've been spear fishing for about 20 years now without any scuba gear. Um, I use a spear gun. I guess it's uh, the thrill of the hunt for me. Generally here we, we target reef fish. It's more of a, a way of um, providing um, sustenance. We put fish on the table and provide to the family. Non-commercial fishing has many variations, but in the end, it's always about the fish. Fishers like Peter Plummer, Gus Oglin, and James Borja may use different methods, but their respect for the marine resources is the same. They understand that the fish they seek are dependent upon healthy reefs, so they're careful not to damage or overexploit the resource. Sustainability begins with a personal commitment to protect marine ecosystems. Non-commercial fishermen support and practice effective coral reef management and conservation so they can enjoy their local fish forever. Please join us again for another Fish Forever podcast brought to you by the Western Pacific Fishery Management Council. <laughs>